guys were wondering why I totally believe that Primo did it. Well, <laughs> guys, there's quite a few reasons here. Um, so first and foremost, uh, Josh Primo, when this news first leaked out, first thing that he went to was, hey, you know, I got a lot of trauma that I was going through and, you know, I, I got some mental issues I need to work on. So I just assumed then that whatever came out was going to be true. Not to mention the whole thing with the Reddit posts, obviously, basically stating that he got kicked out of the Four Seasons Hotel um, because showing his Johnson to uh, housekeeping. And, you know, all the information that we got thus far kind of made me believe they did it. But this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the icing on the cake. If you were on the fence, I don't know how you could be, but if you were on the fence, if Josh Primo was 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 guilty of anything, okay? <laughs> this should make you believe that at the very least it's a little sus, all right? So let's go ahead and go through this. Um, Wait, is Carolina in here? Great job today, Clint. Is that Carolina T? Hey, hey Carolina. All right, so here we go. All right, so William J. Briggs, uh, the second. This dude is so incompetent, bro. Primo need to call Saul. He he better call Saul. All right, so go ahead and listen. Listen to this. All right, this is this is his statement. All right, you guys ready? You ready? Get ready. Okay. Josh Primo is a 19-year-old NBA player who has suffered a lifetime of trauma and challenges. The, right off the bat, this comes across. This doesn't come across as attorney. This comes across as like a high school essay. Like right off the bat. Um, he is now being victimized by his former team, victimized by his former team appointed sports psychologist who is playing to to ugly stereotypes and racially charged fears for her financial benefit. Can you in the first paragraph? In the second sentence, in the second sentence, he threw out the race card. Now, is there, tr I know, I know, like, usually I'm the one that when people say, wow, you know, this person's throwing out the race car, I'm like, oh, shut up, you know, there's actually some truth here, but this, we just watched, guys, we just watched the entire video, okay, we just watched the entire video, did at any point, did you feel as if, okay, and don't get me wrong, like, you can, you can do it, you can do it with some innuendo, did any point, did you, think of this being racially charged or did you think of stereotypes this is just pulling something out of your butt here like yeah he pulling a jesse smollett how this is insane i i this just uh, okay moving on in an act of betrayal against her young client this this is <laughs> this is a high school report this is a high school essay in an act of betrayal she betrayed him okay this is it's like star wars this is a space odyssey she betrayed him uh, against her young client all right now keep in mind he says ugly stereotypes all right so just move on dr cawthon hopefully i said the right who is 40 years old falsely claims josh primo exposed himself to her during the course of her numerous therapy sessions now here here's the thing he just threw out that what she's doing is stereotyping and it was racially charged. And then he goes on to call her Karen. Is this not a stereo? He, he threw, he revert, he, he did the Uno reverse card. All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to get through this. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Right, let's take this serious. Cawthon's allegations are either a complete fabrication, a gross embellishment, or utter fantasy. Josh Primo never intentionally exposed himself to her or anyone else and was not even aware that his private parts were visible outside of his workout shorts. See, Your Honor. <laughs> See, Your Honor, you don't understand. Primo, he just has girth. You, you don't understand. Your Honor, <laughs> people of the court, <laughs> It's just <laughs> It's just you don't understand people of the court. It's just it's just big. Primo, can you present it to the court, please? <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> what the 
kind of argument is this? <laughs> this is incre this is incredible. And this is incredible. Uh, what makes the allegations even less credible is that Dr. Cawthon never informed her patient of the, of the exposure. We don't we don't know if this is true or not, but if she did or didn't, it doesn't really make a difference, okay? It 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 just if it's pretty obvious, it's obvious. I'm sure we'll know more information later. But Dr. Cawthon was Mr. Primo's mental health support provider and confidant, a therapist who Mr. Primo trusted. She is much older than Mr. Primo. What does the age have to do with it other than you trying to stereotype? What is up with this? You set the stage with the second with the second sentence saying that she what they're doing is racially charged and his stereotypes and then you like go in on the stereotype this isn't this is incredible um where were we guys uh she is much older than mr primo with many years of experience as a sports psychologist yeah it is baffling why she did not bother to tell her patient that his private parts were visible underneath his shorts i don't from what i understand this also happened in public I don't, yeah, exactly, elderly Karen. Yeah, that's what he's pulling. Like, he really think people are this stupid that you would read this and say, oh yeah, she's she's in it for, like, what? Um, Moving on, all right, this, this is the last part. Uh, Josh Primo is at the beginning of, this is, this is incredible. This is a high school <laughs> essay. Josh Primo is at the beginning of a promising career and has been uh, devastated by these false al allegations, sorry, and released by the Spurs. He is in the process seeking treatment to deal with the trauma inflicted on him by Dr. Cawthon's misleading allegations? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be joking. I don't even remember this part. This is this is insane. A lawyer makes six figures to write this. This is this is in addition to previous trauma he suffered as a child. He looks forward to clearing his name and to moving forward with his NBA career. That is a terrible opening statement. So let's get let's get this straight. You started off by saying that what they're doing is stereotypes and it being racially charged not once and i'm 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 guys i'm really sensitive to these things okay i can i'll i'll be able to spot things when they're pretty racially charged not one point did i f feel that and i i guess you know they can feel what they feel never felt that from uh the victim like never never felt that didn't didn't even feel it from our lawyer i that didn't even cross my mind um and then moving on he goes on to stereotype her and then after saying that there's no way he did it then he comes up with an explanation if he did it. <laughs> and the explanation is Primo is just big down there. And, and then he moves on to say, but you know what? She inflicted trauma on him and he's going to have a great NBA career. He's going to keep making his money. That's insane to me. That's, that's, that's insane to me. She better find a new career after. Yeah, she'll be good find a better lawyer bro. really that's what i'm saying i wonder if i can find this guy william j briggs is this him you guys mentioned jesse smollett earlier i think this is i think this is him William Briggs is a trial lawyer and civil litigator with the, yeah, I don't care. Um, in addition to his current brand, William works with clients to respond rapidly to emergency situations. Oh, so he was just an, this was just an emergency. <laughs> and to identify most appropriate and cost effective uh, solutions. What? When difficult and challenging issues cannot be resolved without litigation, he is prepared to try the case for the client. He's literally slipping Jimmy. 
Hold on, can we connect with them? Oh, you can send them an email. What's the V card? Oh crap. Oh. Yeah, I don't care about that. I think this is him. I don't know who else it would be. He has books. Is, is this him? Is this, are these his books? Trying to see if we can find any more information. Oh, no, this is him too. Uh, same information's on here. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, we're done with this segment. God, he is terrible. He sucks. <laughs>